We need to start getting moving because there is a lot of things to talk about for this week's update in Star Stable. The Veildale Championship is back, new and improved, better than ever, and it's starting in 10 minutes. So finally, the new championship is back and it's gonna be completely updated. If you guys remember, it looked like a construction site for a while since they added in the Hollow Woods and they said that they were gonna be updating the championship. Well, today is the day. So let's see what it looks like. I haven't even been over here yet. Where is it? Wait a minute, it's just woods. There's nothing here now. <gasps> they moved it. It's up this way. Okay, I haven't even done the tutorial yet or anything. I'm just gonna get signed up. So here's Rory, one of the new NPCs, waving us over. The Veildale Championship starts soon. Would you like to enter the race? Yes. Stay close. I will be starting the race shortly. Good luck. Look at how cute. Look at the horse with goggles. So this is my first time doing the championship. I have not even done the tutorial yet. I still need to complete the tutorial. Hopefully it lets me still do the tutorial after doing the championship. So you've got your storage here. You can buy some champion treats. They've got a new shop here. Ooh, let's check it out. Yes. All right. So they have all this clothing that you can get and tack. Forest whisper tunic. The woods whisper to you and you echo their call. Blend in seamlessly with the trees when you don this druid inspired ensemble. There's two versions of it. There's this one and this one with like the sleeves. You do have to work on your reputation with this, except for this piece. You can just get this one right away, which I would get, but I'm out of storage space. But it looks like Star Stable has a bundle going on right now that you can just actually buy the star coin bundle and then you'll get the tax set it looks like that way if you didn't want to wait for the tax set you could just do that but this is different this is exciting okay we're ready we're ready start the championship and go we're off so this is very different they absolutely changed the whole entire course oh <gasps> There's a boost. It started raining. Which way do I go? Oh, this way, this way, this way. Oh, it's thunderstorming. Hopefully this is a sneak peek that weather is coming into Star Stable. I love the little rain droplets actually on the water. Oh, go through. That's interesting that they would put a boost inside of the log. What is this? A mudslide with deer. Another branch fell. What, you have to jump the log while it's sliding in the mud? Oh, careful. Oh, don't miss it. I almost missed that. Oh, the mud is going right into the river. Go around this way. There was another random boost there. Oh, people are getting stuck in the mud. I like this. There's a lot going on. Oh man, there's a big storm happening. So tree branches are just falling. You can easily miss a lot of these checkpoints. That whole tree fell. Go back through the log. Hey, look, I'm in third place. I haven't even done this championship and, and I'm in third place. Oh, until I hit the rock. Come down this way, slide down. Oh, it's very slippery. Very, very slippery. Oh, I hit something. Careful of the deer, careful of the deer. Oh, you can hit the deer. You can hit the deer. Don't run into the deer. Okay, they really stop you. All right, I lost my third place status, but fourth place, not bad, not bad. Jump and finish line. Nice, okay, I loved that. That had a lot going on, a lot of boosts, a lot of nature, a lot of storms, a lot of falling tree branches. So let's talk with Rory. Helmet, check, safety vest, check, sensible shoes, check. Oh, I didn't see you there. Meet Rory and learn about the championship. Oh, look at the freckles. I hope we can get freckles soon. I'm here to introduce you to the Veildale Championship. You probably met the other jerks down at Moreland and Fort Pinto already. No, I'm not insulting them. That's the name of our riding committee. You guys, the goggles are so cute on the horse. We need goggles. Star Stable, if you're watching this, goggles please for our horses and freckles for our characters. By now you're really well versed in how this all works. So I'll give you the condensed info. Championships run on a schedule. The top three riders win ribbons. And if you keep competing, you'll eventually gain access to the pro shop with the coolest kinds of gear. Hollow Woods has a drastically different landscape than the fields of Southern Silverglade. So be prepared for an intense and challenging ride through difficult terrain. Oh yes, that was challenging. That was fun though. Now that's out of the way, you should be all set to hit the tracks or woods. Yes, your reputation has increased with Veildale Championship. Hang out on the track before competing it for real. Did I mention the importance of safety? Gear up with a helmet and proper riding gloves and you'll be good to go. All right, so let's give it a try. So this was actually the tester course that I should have done before, but we're just gonna do it now. But now we can actually take a closer look now that the pressures of the actual championship are out of the way. So we've got people cheering for you over there there. I love that it starts raining whenever you get to here. This is so lovely. It's all covered in leaves. I love that we have to also run through all the water too. Oh, don't miss that. This is probably a shortcut here. Now this mudslide, what's the deal with the mudslides? Where are those coming from? Oh, they're coming from up there from where the summer home used to be. Oh, oh, careful. Careful of the sliding log. Oh, you can slide with it. Careful. Another sliding log. 
Oh, I love this. Go over here. Oh, don't miss it. See, I almost missed it. I think it's a shortcut, but it's not. It really delays you. There are so many speed boosts Go around here. And those are challenging speed boosts because they're like on turns. So you have to hit the speed boost as you're turning. So it doesn't, oh, there's that tree falling. Okay, and I need to be careful of the deer because they really slow you down when you hit the deer. Oh, don't miss it. Careful. Careful of the tree branches. More of a slide. Oh, it's so slippery, so slippery. <gasps> Which way do I go? Okay, careful of the deer. Don't hit them. Try not to hit them. Don't hit them. No, they slow you down. They slow you down. Jump like a deer to try to avoid them. Another log in the water and finish. Very nice championship. You aced it. If you wanna participate again, just speak with me while championship isn't going on. Great, and now you can do that over and over and over. So you can always just do training, get to know the track. I wanna know where the mud is coming from. Let's see if maybe I can just sneak a little peek over at the old summer home. All right, we won't have much time to check this out, but we're gonna to try to do what we can. Can you actually go around the log? Yeah, you can, but you'll miss that boost. So there it is, straight ahead, we've got the mud slide. Let's go up here and see if we can see the mud slide where it's coming from. Oh no, you can't actually see it. It's just it just kind of starts right here and just kind of waterfalls down and then just goes right into here. And then this just kind of goes right down into the river. Oh, and there's deer down here too. Oh, it's nice and rainy. I love the rain. It's raining in Star Stable. I want it always to rain and thunder and lightning. Wouldn't it be so fun to play like this? I'm in love with this horse. That's so cute. Those goggles, those absolutely need to be sold. Okay, now that we checked out the new championship, it's been moved over here to its new spot. While this area where the old championship used to be just has now just a bunch of tree overgrowth happening. So nothing but just role play area up here. All right, there's other things to check out. Oh, there's another Frisian. Oh, and she's got a unicorn. It's time for a giant celebration cheer. Star Stable finally removed the quest blockers. We're slowly removing the stay overnight feature. You won't need to pay star coin fee or wait a day to continue playing time locked quests. We will update quests in batches. Yes, finally. I always thought that was so strange to have to like have your quest get clocked randomly in the middle of your quest and then you'd have to complete it the next day. So I think that was a great move. I think that was outdated and very very, very needed. Oh, someone's hiding in the bushes. I see you, I see you. Is that you and your unicorn horse? I see you. Star Stable also updated the horse purchasing window. It got a visual upgrade to make it easier to see. So let's go check out some of the new horses and see exactly what it looks like. Okay, let's check out Irish Cobbs here. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit glowier behind them and now the horses are on a blue background. They said it's to make it easier to see the coats. When are these horses gonna be on sale at the bazaar? I feel like these horses have not gone on sale yet. They haven't been to a bazaar and they're kind of older now considering there's been so many new horses that have made it to the bazaar. So I'd really like to see these ones because there's some of these I need to pick up too. Horses on the move. Several horses are moving from Fort Pinta to Moreland where they'll be easier for new players to find their next beloved companion. Every new horse going forward will have one coat available in Moreland instead of in Fort Pinta. So Moreland is gonna be the hot spot for buying horses instead of Fort Pinta. So let's see exactly where were they moved to? Oh, here they are, okay. So they're in here with Justin. So these were the horses that were at Fort Pinta. Can now purchase them here, but Star Stable did say this is a temporary spot that they are looking to build them a permanent home. We're working on building these horses an even better home in Moreland, but we can't say when the construction will be complete. I think this works pretty nicely in here because there's nothing in here. So I think it's really cute to actually see some of these horses in here that the new players can get. So now that these horses got moved to Moreland, some new horses got moved in to Fort Pinta. So there's an empty spot where the halflingers used to be. And it looks like the Pertrons kind of got shuffled over here to the main area. So where did the halflingers go? They went to Fort Pinta. So now in Fort Pinta, whenever you come over here to the little stable, we've got the halflingers and the Yorvik ponies. This is where they are living now. And over in this small little corralled area, we just had these two horses. I wonder if they moved the ponies from the little pony boat that's over here, like the little float thing, or are they still here? <gasps> It looks like they moved them. So all the ponies that used to be here, all the Yorvik ponies are now in that stable that I just showed you. And this is completely empty. The only thing that's here now is pony poop. That's all. There is a new item this month at the bonus shop for Star Riders. Hello. To go with the Royal Ascot set, we have now been given the Royal Ascot dressage pants. <gasps> Those are beautiful. Look at the rose on the thigh. Oh, I wish I could redeem these. Star Stable, please. We need more storage space. I buy
buy a lot of tack and clothing and I'm out of storage space. Please, Star Stable. Cannot wait for that update. Have you guys heard about some of the other things going on with Star Stable? There's a lot, a lot happening. The new next up in Jorvik roadmap came out and you can already see we've got a sneak peek of one of the new horses coming out next week already. Can you believe it? Next week, the new Cell Francais horses are coming and they're also going to be giving us a little show jumping preview. Head on over to Jorvik Sable's arena to try out the new set of small fences with this breed. And for six weeks, you can try out our new show jumping race system. So it looks like they're updating show jumping and hopefully giving us a new obstacle. That would be nice. On March 20th, it says, be that helpful friend. This is very interesting. The only information that they've given us on that is do you have a friend who has a lot of horses and needs help taking care of them? You can now join in and lend a helping hand. What could that possibly mean? Maybe you're able to click and drag water and hay to help a horse or to maybe pick their feet or brush them. Speaking of friends, when you're in a group and want to use the paddock props, everyone in the group will see the same layout. That is another very, very helpful feature. Also, big giant news. This horse that I'm riding right here, the Frisian, mm -hmm, yep, is getting another update. But wait a minute, this is already a Gen 3, you're saying? Yeah, I know. Star Stable posted on their stories, the updated Frisian is coming later this year. And some people were confused. I was confused too. Like we already have a Frisian in game. Is this a Gen 4? Star Stable said it will be a Gen 3. Somebody else asked, I already have a Frisian. And when they're updated, will mine update as well? Or will there be a whole new horse? And Star Stable replied and said, it will be a whole new horse. But what's going to happen to the other Gen 3 Frisians? Star Stable replied and said, it will still exist as it is loved by many. So this is very exciting because we need a really good Frisian horse, like as good as I think the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. I am really enjoying my Gen 1 Frisian. So it'll be really lovely to see this Gen 3 also get a brand new fresh update in Star Stable and still be a Gen 3. That'll be really interesting. I'm really excited for that. So not only are we getting a brand new horse next week, the Cell Francais is gonna be coming out. Something for us to look forward to next month. It says, polish your nicest riding boots. It's almost time for the Equestrian Festival. There's gonna be lots of new horses tack, new riding equipment, and of course some recolors that are going to be coming. That is incredibly exciting, including one of my favorites. The Ardennes horses is going to get a recolor, so I'm very excited to see that. So make sure you're subscribed for more horse crazy fun, and I will see you back in my next video. Bye, you guys.